The community is remembering seven lives lost across the U.S. this past week. It all started with the death of Alton Sterling. Police shot and killed him in Baton Rouge, Louisiana during a struggle. A day later, an officer killed Philando Castile in Falcon Heights, Minnesota. Video of both deaths began going viral, causing controversy. Thursday, a sniper opened fire on police during peaceful protests of the shootings in Dallas, Texas. Five officers lost their lives, including one who worked in Portsmouth during his time with the Navy. That's why the Hampton NAACP organized a vigil. Ten on your sides, Liz Kilmer was there and joins us now from the newsroom with the story. Liz? Tom Anita, tonight was all about bringing the community together in prayer and in honest discussion. We heard from police, city leaders, local activists who all agreed that harmony, unity and understanding are needed to prevent future tragedies in and outside of Hampton. Our hearts are heavy tonight. Throughout this packed chapel, passionate unity between community members, leaders and police, all standing in support of one another. It's the harmony Hampton's NAACP president, Gaylene Conoyton, intended for when she organized the prayer vigil within the Bethel AME Church. We need to have people to be able to come up and share their feelings. So um, having a prayer vigil has kind of set the tone of, of um, that we care and that we want some results. After the violence last week in Louisiana, Minnesota, and Dallas, she received call after call from Hampton residents with heavy hearts wanting to express their feelings in a productive way. What we're faced with is not a racial divide. What we're faced with is people who don't understand what wrong and what right is. Together, it seemed everyone took turns at the podium, mourning those slain and discussing ways to ensure that Hampton won't someday make national news headlines for a police-involved shooting. And somebody in this room should say, not on my watch. Leaders say it involves holding law enforcement accountable and the community. All need to work hand in hand to understand where one another is coming from and to run out the violence the city does see now. Most of the shootings are people that know each other. They're not stranger on stranger crimes. And so as citizens, we should be reporting that because we know these people. And so you can do it on the crime line. While many feel progress was made sitting within these pews, peace, they say, only starts here. Make sure there's action behind the prayer. And as several thanked Hampton police for their dedication to community engagement, they say it is key for officers and citizens to seek positive interaction, whether that's a cop sitting in on a Civic League meeting or a kid touring the police station. It's building those relationships, folks say, that counts. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.